Hi, I'm Sharice, and welcome to my channel. I wasn't going to film this uh, unboxing till later on, but I just couldn't wait. I couldn't help it. It's the new Canadian Beauty Box, and um, it just came out. It's kind of like a Canadian FabFitFun, I guess. Um, it's uh, I paid $200 with the discount for a year and it comes out every season just like FabFitFun and uh, I guess we'll see how it is. Um, I didn't open it yet so bear with me. So my makeup, hair, everything is not how I would wear it so I apologize but uh, here it is and it says A with a sticker. Go figure. So let's see what it is. This is how it looks when you open it. There's a card. Canadian Beauty Box. Oh, I can see stuff on it on the back, so I don't want to wreck it. So let's see what we have. First, it has the Masquerade Beauty Restore Regenerate Repair Hydrating Facial Sheet Mask. And these are fairly good sheet masks. These are a Canadian company. And uh, I've gotten them in my top box, and that's a Canadian company as well. And uh, it's really good, so I'm actually glad I have this. Next, we have Exfoliate Body Scrub. Oh, it's a body scrub that you kind of use in the shower. Scrub off old, show off the new. Used in West Africa for many decades, this exceptionally efficient and... Hygien... I can't say that word. I am sorry. Me and words just... I butcher them so bad. But it's a nylon body scrub. It removes the dead skin away and to reveal radiant smooth skin. So look, it's pretty big, but I guess, you know, you to get it off your back and stuff like that, you need it to be fairly long, so there's no smell to it, and it comes from Skin Tensely, Skin Tensely Smooth, and that is in Mississauga, Ontario. Okay, so that's number two. Number three is, looks like a bath bomb. It's in the bubble wrap. Ooh, this smells good. It's from Naked. Buck Naked Soap Company. I don't know if you can see it. Focus, it's not focusing. Anyway, and uh, this one is Lavender and Rosemary Bath Bomb. Um, and uh, it doesn't say where they are. Oh yeah, Cambridge, Ontario. So, I have baths for my MS, for my legs, so I will be using this for sure. So, that's number three. Next, we have... Oh, it's a, a lip balm. And it's laven lemon lavender lip balm. I don't want to. Uh, I'll open it. This is it. It's tensely strong, but you can tell it's it's like homemade. It's not. It does. It like. It doesn't look like it's compressed the same way you'd buy something in a big store. Um, this is Lip Beauty Service, um, by Annette Smith. She's the owner and creator. And, uh, made to order lip products, all natural, small batch, and customization. So here's her card. So that's kind of cool. Um, it doesn't say where they're from. And I can't read this small, tiny writing. Oh, wait. Uh something Ontario 
Gims Gimsley Gimsley Grimsley Gimsley Ontario sorry so that's one two three four products next we have this little pouch don't know what it is oh it's a necklace that's cool from Misfit Boutique Again, don't know where it's from, but uh, that looks pretty nice. And uh, I'll just quickly open it. Also, I'm waiting for my Ipsy bag to do my top box Ipsy um, unboxing. And as you know, it's the end of the month, and I don't know why it's not here. So this is the spring box, by the way, for this uh, Canadian beauty box. And... Um, I don't know why I smelt it, but it looks like it's silver. I could be wrong, but it's really nice. It's really cute. So that's that's got to be worth pretty good money. So anyways, next we've got, looks like a liquid lipstick. It's called Dion Cosmetics Goddess Gloss. I'm not a gloss person, but this is pink lemonade. And this is the Dion. It's a very big, big. Like, it's really big. Um, I'll open it. Cool packaging, though. Ooh. Smells good for pink lemonade. So it's more of a liquid lipstick than a gloss. And, uh, but it smells really good. Oh no, it's more of a gloss once you start rubbing it in. But if you like layered it on, I think it would be a nice like pink tinge. So uh, for those that you like glosses, I'm not a gloss person, but everybody's different. Okay, next we've got Mila Rose Boutique Soy Candles and Home Fragrance Fresh Cucumber Soy Candle Made in Canada um, Where it's from? I have no idea, but it smells really good. So it's a little candle. And the reason why also I got this box was I wanted to help the Canadian, um, the Canadian stores. Anyways, okay, last but not least, this looks like an awesome mug. Got a top on it. Uh, real, real of ish, real of ish. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but that's a decent sized mug. Like if you look at this little candle, that's a big mug compared to my hand base. Okay, so I'll get now. I'll get this. Um, the product uh, prices. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I'm so not with it today. But anyways, spring box. Okay, Butt Naked Soap Company uh, with the bath bomb, lavender and rosemary. This retails for six dollars. Um, the Mila Rose Travel Soy Candle. Oh, it's a travel candle. That's why it's in this tin. Is ten dollars. Uh, the Un get unwind Lux stemless tumbler retails for thirty seven fifty, which I totally believe because I bought one like a just a normal travel coffee one, and it was like forty five dollars. So this I could totally get behind. And uh, next is skin tensely smooth the body scrub body scrub. This is $15. That is, I think, is a little high, but because it's so big, I guess you'd have to see how long it lasts. Okay, so anyways, uh, next is the Lip Service Beauty All Natural Lip Balm. That's $8. $8 for a lip balm? But it's all natural, so I can see that. Next is Dion Cosmetics Goddess Gloss. This retails for $16, but look how big it is. That is a lot of product. 
so that is not actually that bad. And um, next is Misfit Boutique Sterling Silver Lotus Necklace. The necklace is retails for $45, which I believe that's a nice look necklace. And uh, last but not least is the Masquerade um, Sheet Mask for $7, which is good. That's, that's normal. So if you just hang on, I'm going to go add these together and then I'll be right back. Hi, sorry, I had to go check, because I can't add, of what the price total would be for this Canadian beauty box. And the total comes out to $144.50 altogether, which I paid $50, bucks, so it actually is a decent box. Um, you know, like, to get behind these Canadian um, smaller companies, I am totally game with it. So... So far, this is a good box. This is the first box. This is the spring box. So uh, for you that haven't um, or were asking about it, I think it's a good deal. 50 bucks. And um, I there was a flash 25% off, and that's what I that's when I got my um, subscription. So again, um, this is a good box so far, and um, it's the smaller version of FabFitFun, and there's no shipping, so 50 bucks I paid, and for 50 bucks that was almost this plus your taxes, and as everybody knows the Canadian taxes, for where I'm from, are fairly high, so um, for 50 bucks I would have paid almost for this, and this is 37.50, yeah 37.50 plus taxes probably was like 42 dollars, so really this plus this is 50 bucks. And all this would have been for free. So, I don't know. Just to keep that in mind. So, again, if you liked my video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, let me know what you think of the new Canadian beauty box. Should they have a different name? Or should they, you know... Um, let me know what you think and your thoughts are on this box. And uh, soon, I promise... Top box will be out, and if Ipsy ever shows up, then I will do that video as well. So, thank you again, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.